And he said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There, at the right hand of God, he took his place. While they, going out, preached everywhere. The Lord was working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. So this piece is just the end of Mark's Gospel which be, has been a gospel of action, where Jesus just got stuck in and did things. And here he is now at the end of the gospel, telling his disciples and us that we likewise have to do the same. We have to go out and preach the gospel that all people may know Jesus. Sometimes that's not easy. We think, oh, I'm not going to go and stand on a street corner and read the Bible out to people and hand out tracts. And, you know, I'm not going to go to my neighbour and say, have you met Jesus yet? Are you saved? We actually don't have to do that. St. Francis of Assisi used to say, preach the gospel at all times and if necessary, speak. Something like that anyway. What he was on about was that our actions and our behaviour preaches the gospel. And so this is what Jesus is asking us to do. You can imagine the apostles when Jesus was taken from them, how we don't know. They must have felt fairly devastated, but they listened to what he asked and they went out and they preached and they laid their hands on the sick and they did the things that he had asked them to do. And things started happening, and the Christian community started growing. So that's what we're called to on the Sunday of the Ascension, a very important feast in the church's year, when Jesus apparently leaves us, but also is with us. A great mystery indeed. <laughs>